fasting, I'm speaking a couple words on fasting, fasting, sometimes I'll just go through the day and maybe just drink some water, just have water, burn a little bit, you know, um, um, being circumspect, you know, or maybe have a piece of bread or something like that. But definitely when the evening time comes, I need some greens. I need some ital. You understand? I need some. I need some rich greens and 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 some OJ, some vitamin C, because because vitamin C, if you burn herb, like I mentioned before, if you're burning herb or the herbs, right? And and and, and they are some good grade of 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 of, of cannabis, then you should, right? You should have 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 a have a have a livid livid not diet. Babylon say diet. We say livid. A livid that's rich. That's why after Christ came out the wilderness, what happened? After he came out the wilderness, he said, I'm hungry. And the angel, well, he didn't say I'm hungry then, but the angels fed him. You notice that? After his fast, he ate. You know what I mean? He ate. But like I said once again, the Christ fast and the Moses fast, they were able to endure. Probably the only thing that they had, well, Christ obviously probably didn't have much water, but there, there is certain types of water in the wilderness. But it says in the scripture, according to the scripture, he fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. Only, only those disciples who are, who, are ma- who are in a mastery level of discipline, that means that, that they, they, uh, they have a command of the word too. See, a command of the word, sometimes when one is in that situation, you only eat the word of God. Remember when Christ said to his disciples, that I have food that you don't know about? Yeah, yeah, so how do we get there? How do we get there? We begin off, right? We begin off by 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 prayer, right? We begin off by by limited level of fasting. For example, fasting is not just from food. For example, a fast is like if you curse a lot. Just say if you curse a lot, or you or you're angry with people a lot. Just for knowing that people just irk you. Do a study on anger in the Bible, and take down every verse, right? Or study the different verses where anger is spoken to and, remem- and memorize those verses. You see, our mind is what must be holy, and our mind is part of our soul. Once you get the word of Jah in your mind and you have faith in that word of Jah in your mind, like, for example, I used, I used to bust off on, on people for anything. People say I'm still hot with, with folks. I'm hot with Babylon. But what I learned is that the wrath of man does not work the righteousness of God. So a lot of us think by getting angry with people, and cursing at them, and, and oh, well, you always make Sometimes, not sometimes, but when you're in the discipline, you learn to have more faith in that word, and you do what the Christ said in, in John chapter 7, 17. Let's look at John chapter 7, 17 for a moment, bro. Look, I got a couple more minutes here with the eye, but it's a very, very good question you ask. And we do get there, but we don't have a rush to get to higher heights, because you know, like, if you're climbing mountains, you know who's at the top of the mountains? If you, if you go into the mountains, the wild animals are up there. The wild animals, it's like spirituality. And then also the jagged cliffs and the edges. So, so when people start off mountain climbing, they try to climb the big mountain only if they are undisciplined and unlearned. And if they try to climb the big mountain, they're going to fall off and, and might bust their head. You see what I'm saying? And Jah doesn't want us to do that. His majesty doesn't want us to do that. He don't want his, his dearly beloved sons and daughters to do that. This is why he testifies of Christ, and this is why more of us have to become acquainted and learn the word. We've got to learn the word before we can do the word. Most of us want to do, but don't learn. And all we're doing is do-do. All we're doing is like little children shitting on ourselves. I mean, I'm just going to speak bluntly, right? Um, John chapter 7, right? John chapter 7, verse 16, Yeshua answered them and said, my doctrine, doctrine means teaching, is not mine, but his that sent me. Well, pray tell, who sent Yeshua? It's the Father, right? So when the Father, when our Father visits the earth, who did he pray to Yeshua? You understand? And how do we know that his witness is true? It's because it agrees with every jot and tittle of the word. Verse 17, if any man will do his will, Right? What does his majesty say? To make our wills obedient to good influences and to avoid evil. You can't just say I want to do, you can't just say I want to do good and you don't start to. Huh? Uh, uh, Yo. I forgot to ask you, what what should I say? 12 with the Bible when you go to court? 
Oh, oh, that's a good question you asked me. A sister asked me that the other day. I ministered to a sister who was in a situation like that. Um, they usually will ask you, right, and take notes. They usually will ask you, do you swear or affirm? Well, John tells us, John tells us, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, in some jurisdictions, in, sh- in some jurisdictions, they don't do that anymore. In some jurisdictions, they don't even bring out the Bible. They'll just say to you, do you swear or affirm, right? they just say, do you swear or affirm? And our answer should be, yes, I affirm, period. Yes, I affirm. I affirm, you know, you know do you swear or affirm that every, whatever you say, you know, shall be the truth and nothing but the truth, so help you, God? And your response shouldn't just be yes, because they trick you sometimes. They say, do you swear or affirm? In some cases, they'll say, do you swear and affirm? Huh? Yeah, yeah, you swear or affirm. Yeah, yeah. I'm a- I mean, if you put your hand on your Bible, just say, just say, yes, I affirm that my statements are true. Or, 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 or keep it simple. Keep it simple. Yes, I affirm. Yes, I affirm. You see, you see what Christ taught us, and where is that found? Where is that found, my brother? Where is that found in the Word? Where? See, we got to know where the Word is. You see, it says to love, love Him with all of our, all of our heart right, all of our, our mind and all of our soul. So if we, don't rec- if we don't keep his word in our mind, you see, everything is spiritual, is mental. It's, it's mental, but it's, it's what quality of spiritual food are we putting in our minds? What quality of word is coming out of our mouth? That's the, that's the first level of true spirituality. It ain't about just seeing angels and demons because you could run into some very malevolent, forces out there and, and and you and your soul will be naked you, your soul will be naked because you would not have that word you understand you wouldn't have that word to counter the devil you know i mean what you're going to say to 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 the evil spirits you're going to say f you they like that they like that sort of talk you understand they actually like that sort of talk you know what i'm saying because they know that if you claim to be a child of god you know that that's that is opposite Right, that is opposite of what the um, of, of of what his word of what his word says to us. So let's look right here. Let's find that word. Right, swearing. Now, Old Testament sense they swore, but Christ taught us something in the New Testament sense, and I think it's Matthew. It's Matthew twenty. Uh, let's get this right here. Hold on for a moment, my brother. He says right here. He says uh, swear, swear. Let's see what he says. The first swear is 534, 534. So, so write that down, 534. And this is what the master says, right? We're brothers and sisters because, you know, he's our brother, right? And he's our father. But in order for us to be true children, we have to be in his word because the word is that seed that has given birth to us, right? And brings us to maturity. He says, but I say to you, swear not at all. Right? He says, you know what, don't swear. So basically, we don't say, I swear. Just say, I affirm. All right? Is, is, is that clear? Yeah. Yeah, just say, I affirm. Say, yes, I affirm, because Christ said, let your yay be yay and your nay be nay. Yes, I affirm.